Alexa Bliss is here. One of the most accomplished competitors in the women's division. The following contest is a six-woman ladder match. Making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. It seems like Alexa is back from the dark side, but she brought back a friend, Lily. Oh, I wish she hadn't. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. We know your favorite doll recently popped. We are seconds away from another moment of bliss. Blissful for us, not for her opponent. A dominant force in the women's division. Absolute sheer aggression. And from Ayrshire, Scotland, Piper Niven. No nonsense, no more gimmicks, just Piper Niven. And all she wants to do is drop the competition. <laughs> that was decent, Corey. I have my moments. Niven looks ready to knock out anybody in the women's division. Here comes trouble. A superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. And from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. This is a woman who demands her place in the spotlight and has taken it by pure force. A woman who possesses incredible speed and toughness. And no shortage of animosity. That's a good thing. Oh, get ready, guys. There ain't nobody meaner than Tamina. And from the Pacific Islands, Tamina! Tamina spent the last decade and a half beating people up and making a lot of money. No woman wants to see her name next to Tamina's when they get to the arena. Listen, there ain't nobody Mina than Tamina, and nobody tougher either. Meechin ready to bring a beat down. Now she's still the head baddie in charge, but now she's also too sweet. And representing. The O.C. from Fontana, California, Meechan! The H.B.I.C. of WWE looking to carve a name for herself and leave her mark on sports entertainment. Look, there's no doubt Meechan has all the tools to do just that, but can she put them together and reach the top? Such a talented competitor, I think we're about to see one of her best matches yet.
The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. of Cora Jade on full display. Well, she showed up with a kendo stick, so we get it. She's tough. And here we go. These superstars will be scrambling to grab that Money in the Bank briefcase and earn the contract inside. Whoever wins this one is about to have a whole lot of responsibility to deal with. Well, right now, they don't have to think about that, Saxton. They just have to think about avoiding getting too banged up by all the ladders around the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. something like this? No, you cannot prepare for being tossed full speed into a ladder. You can prepare to wield one, though. Well, a competitor must be comfortable with every part of the ladder. Not just climbing it, but utilizing it as a tool of destruction. The ladder can indeed help you clear the field of your competition and increase your chances of victory. There's literally no limit to what she can... Oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. These two trade encounters, an absolute master class. in this situation don't last long. Let's see how quickly this develops. No mess, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. And Kai not happy with absorbing the brunt of that one. And she's stunned in the corner. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Mastermind lifts with the mind games at work. Kai out of there in a hurry. She catches Kai with a big counter. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. There's actually no regard for your opponent's safety when you talk to them to the outside like that. And that definitely made solid impact. Down to Bowman and a double axe handle smash. Oh, there's a headbutt. That was a power bomb with one message in mind: absolute destruction. Here we go. Can she pull it down? We're about to find out. Doesn't appear to have a good handle. Reach, reach, and a take off. Do it! Oh my God! Oh my God! You have to question the sanity of someone who launches themselves into the air like that. She's making the climb now, guys. And up the ladder we go. Get shot out of prize now. Bro, I will be shocked if this doesn't end in a crash back down to the mat. Mid I don't know. Climbing the ladder at this point seems to be a bit ambitious. Well, it's never too early to try. Even high above the range, she's shown she has plenty of fight left. One of the best ever. We've got some action in the air. Hits his 
Scherzer. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Nothing fancy about that. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. At this point in the match, though, I wouldn't count anyone out.
just getting worn down as this match goes on. Yeah, you get the sense that Tamina is tapping into another level here. Gives their opponent up. Uh oh. Look out. That's an empty driver. Crucial offense executed perfectly. You have to go big or go home in a ladder match. And they just went huge. The knee right in the temple. Oh, did this be it? Eat the feet. And now that could provide her with a path to the top of the ladder. She's getting that ladder position perfectly. Well, setting it up is one thing. Climbing it is entirely different. Look at this. That ladder is positioned perfectly. For the victory. Here she goes, but can she get it loose? Perhaps some wistful thinking going on there, Michael. Encounter. These fans are sending the decibel level off the scale. Kick to the midsection, sunset flip. Looking to snatch a victory here, guys. I think it's gonna happen. She's one pull away from winning. Make no mistake. Grabs it, and the ladder match is over. Dramatic money in the bank match in a new